The immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm really excited about doing a new review. Hyperkin recently sent me the Retron HD, and it's a great Nintendo clone system that plays your classic Nintendo carts on high definition television sets. But what's also neat about this unit is that A, it's, it's cheaper than 50 bucks. It retails at $39.99, and it also has AV connections, so if you want to play old school on an older television set, standard definition, you can also play your light gun games, because that's the only way to play light gun games is on a standard television set. Is it worth the price? Let's check it out. All right, I thought I'd here I'd showcase the, the box of the Retron HD, unbox it, and showcase it against some of the other uh, options that you have currently and so here we go you open it up a very nice box by the way wanted to showcase that they've definitely have improved their packaging and for the price too I really like it um, very nice sleek packaging you open it up and your here's the console and uh, I'm gonna take that out Got your cables and sleek little console here. And here we go. There's the back of it. There's the AV option. You have the HDMI out, your power cord connection, your 69 to 43 option. That's another nice option to have. And the front, which has got kind of your uh, more traditional button layout and two controller ports with a cartridge slot on the top pretty sweet um, just to compare it uh, this is it compared to a top loader it is small this is very small and I uh, did a did a review of the AVS great system and it is tiny just to show you the comparison there that's the AVS, which is a new um, HD option for Nintendo and Famicom games. It's it's kind of the deluxe the deluxe option out there for if you want everything. And so this is the uh, the size of it, really small. And then of course you have Hyperkin's option here, the Retron Five, which you know. Uh, has its fans out there. I, I think it's a great option for people that want to play multiple game cartridges on one console. And that is the size of that. It is tiny. All right, back to kind of what I was showcasing here. We open this up. Here's the wonderful controller here. Oh, it's nice. Nice feel to it. And, uh, Feels about the same size as a, it might be a little bit smaller than a Nintendo cartridge. Uh, I mean a Nintendo controller, I can't believe I said that. The back there, it's got a really cool like grip there. It's really neat. I really like that about it. It's got a good feel. A little, a little button, it's a little bit loose, but I, th I think there's going to be some serious gaming with this controller. I really like it. Nice long core too. Good quality to it. Nice build. And then, uh, Inside comes with your kind of your simple HDMI cable. That cable looks pretty short. That's okay. The long cable makes up for it. And then your uh, it looks like a a gray power cable. You just a USB power cable and AV. And there we go. We got our manual here. Just your simple run-of-the-mill kind of manual don't really need much to hook this thing up and there we go that's what you have also go oh, it also comes with the uh, power cord plug nice and simple like it all right let's check it out all right I have the top loader hooked up to a standard CRT and I just mostly am using this as a baseline for music. And so I want to showcase, uh, this is my my top loader. It has been AV modded. Um, it's a US model. Mm -hmm. 
Takes me back. All right. And here's the retro on HD being hooked up. Same TV. Sounds a little bit off. Can't totally tell, but all right, let's try another game. With older clones, uh, Castlevania III Dracula's Curse was an issue, and so I thought it'd be important to showcase this game working on the the Retron HD. Uh, it looks like it's you know it's totally different hardware, so it's it's going to have its own issues, and so it's not going to be um, it's not going to succumb to the uh, um, other issues of older or older clone systems. So it's good to know that this is playing. Looks great. Looks great. I absolutely love this game. I haven't played it in a while. I'd love to have some time to to go through and play this again. It's such a classic. But uh, really great to know that it works. Works on the on this on the console. Recently got a better better conditioned cart, so it's nice to test the cart as well. Yeah, it looks and plays great. Again, is that sound 100% accurate? I, from what I've what I've heard so far, it's a little bit off. It's a little bit off, but that's you know, for for someone that plays a lot of NES games, it's easy to pick up on. For someone that, you know, you just want to casually play, I mean, this is 40 bucks. I think it's important. You know, all the all the things I'm saying. I mean, this is uh, it's it's not going to be perfect. It's it's a 40 dollar. HD Nintendo that you know you can pick up and you can, it's really cool that uh, it has the ability to play the old carts. It also has uh, some some neat options on playing between uh, PAL and H uh, NTSC, and so just wanted to showcase uh, some simple gameplay and showcase some games that people may think, oh, what well, does it play Castlevania 3? Yes, it does. So that's why I'm showcasing this. All right, the best thing about this product is it plays homebrews. And so that's the coolest thing. Um, at, for 40 bucks, you can play all, any homebrew, any home, many homebrew games. I don't know if it plays everything. You know, I'm, now I'm gonna have to test uh, other carts because if it doesn't play Ninja Gaiden, it makes me ask, makes me wonder what else it won't play. So this is Tortoises. This was a Calitz Gamers for Kids exclusive. And so uh, it's a pretty awesome game. Wanted to showcase it. And, uh, you know, definitely a lot of work went into making this game. And it was sold at Callots Gamers for Kids this last year. So thank you to all, all involved with the project. And so you can put in your name. Got some cool noise. It's an homage to the 1981 arcade game Turtles. So, uh... There we go, it plays like a Pac-Man. So anyways, uh, it plays really well with this controller, by the way. So you pick up the baby turtle, tort tortoise, oh, and, and don't hit the beetles. You have some bug bombs. It's a really cool game. Gave me an excuse to showcase it on the channel. And then you take the tortoise, the baby tortoise home. So you have these, these bug bombs, so. You, uh, you leave them and then they can stun the, the beetles. So here we go. Tough game. It's a really tough game. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely a challenging game. Every now and then you 
hit a question mark and you'll run across a beetle. You don't want that. Oh! Wah, wah. All right, Bible Adventures. This is a Christian video game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The reason why I'm showcasing this is because it is a third party game, unlicensed. And, and so uh, I wanted to make sure it would work on the Retron HD. It does. Funny that this works and Ninja Gaiden doesn't. <laughs> and so there's uh, Noah's Ark, Baby's, Baby Moses, and David and Goliath. I haven't not played these in quite a long time. Let's try David and Goliath. It, it's pretty terrible, if I remember correctly. So, all right. Okay. I don't know what to do, but... Squirrel's throwing nuts. Okay. Do I have to climb? Probably have to climb. Oh, you don't kill them, I guess, looks like. They sleep. Interesting. Alright, this is pretty terrible. But it works for the people that... Okay, so you have to jump up here. Okay, so... Alright. So I go over here. Ah, no! Don't know what I'm doing. Alright, that's good. So what did you think? Is this something that interests you? I think it's an awesome product for the price. I mean, $39.99, it's a great budget price for people that want to casually play their Nintendo cartridges on high-definition television sets. I also love the option of having the AV cables in case you want to hook it up old school, play a light gun game. I, I think it's a good balance. Now, is it perfect? No, far from it. But I think for the price, especially with that controller, I really like the feel of the controller. And to have a 10-foot long cord, I think that's awesome. Tell me what you think. Comment below. I do two videos a week, typically. One on Thursdays and one on Sundays. Occasionally and recently, I've been adding a Tuesday video to the mix. It's a lot of videos. <laughs> I also have a Patreon account if you'd like to subscribe and support me there. For as little as a dollar a month, you can get an additional video. I'm so thankful for all the support around the world. My hat's off to all my fans and viewers. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you and take care.